Good evening, sir. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Oh, we are waiting for <laughs> well, I, I tell you, it's. Uh, I, I think we are both connected in the yes. spirit. This is good. Yes, so, <laughs> an event. It's so good to see. I was just running back. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. How are you doing? Very fine, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much for good having to me. See you. Good, to see you. good to see you. Good to see you. I'm so excited. It's going to be wonderful tonight. Yes. All right. So let's get right into uh, our talk this evening. Let's pray before we start, if that's okay. Okay. Heavenly Father, we just want to give you thanks again tonight for this opportunity to share experience, to share knowledge, and to share from where you have brought us from. We ask that you take up absolute charge of this session. You bless everyone listening, everyone that will listen afterwards in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome again. I always Welcome. see that I'm doing something. I'm not talking. I'm just so you. Well, uh, you know, um, we're talking, you know, many people see you around the world, here in Nigeria, Africa, everywhere, and they have different perceptions. Uh, you know, sometimes, uh, people people interpret us from different perspectives. Can you hear me? Yes, bros. <laughs> I did for life. Can you stop the noise? Can you guys stop the car? Uh, the slamming of the doors. Everybody, <laughs> Chidera. Please, please. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. No problem. So, so now, um, so. I want us to kick off from a very simple platform, right? Uh, perspective. I, I want you to tell us who is Anita. Uh, you know, many people have different perception. They, 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 they interpret your personality in different ways. They call you different things. But who do you see yourself as? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm a wife. Beautiful. Mom. Awesome. After a Money, a stand up <laughs> comedian. I'm just an all around entertainer, and most of all, I'm a child of God, of God. a lover of God. I, I, I love that part. I love yeah. that part. And that's crucial to everything. Um, having to recognize one's status in Christ. Uh, and yes. I think that's, that's very, very, very crucial. I know many people love you, they love what you do, they appreciate your input especially in an industry, being a woman and still standing out amongst men. I can, imagine, <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine all of these lessons, all of the stories, you, all of the things you've gone through. And some of them I believe you share with us just to encourage maybe other people who are desiring to go through a path like yours. And maybe I won't face with little, little challenges about training with the power and they just want to give up. So I believe from your lesson, from your experience, many people will find strength. Now, tell us a little bit uh, about your childhood, where you were born, how was the growing up experience for you? Okay, my wife, <laughs> I'm going to give you a dirty slap if you continue doing what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not in my house. It's Children's Day, so we just came to our uh, party, uh, okay. you know, and you <laughs> clean and not say I did for life. You they clean from my back with your broom. <laughs> I finish this life, you go know. <laughs> I did apartment with my children. <laughs> leave them. It's Children's Day. Leave them. I get like that day, like, and I did with Ah, Pastor Ogana, you say. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, leave them. Leave them. Leave them. Leave them. Just the man you supposed to do do this. They do. <laughs> she sit down. Okay. Um. You are saying my my childhood background and everything. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> can you, sir? Can you go and come back? Leave my leave the apartment, please. Everybody that's saying leave the apartment, come back when I'm done. Okay. Then close the door. Nobody should open any door till I'm done. <laughs> so, <breathe. laughs> 
It's okay. It's, it's, Being it's, me it's, is it's difficult. difficult. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll know how you navigate that too. Tell us how you manage everything. <laughs> so, okay. Just leave them. So, I was born to the family of six. I'm the third born. Yes, I'm the third born. Born. Okay. I was one I'm brought up in Worry. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm <laughs> from Burutu local government. Wow. Um, so growing up, growing up in Worry, hmm, I'll say it was it was it was it was love, mm. tough love. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> you know, some other area maybe say <laughs> nobody your parents. Community <laughs> <laughs> you do any uh, for your mark come back and not see what you want. No, you know what I need to do today. You know, you know, and it was really. I feel like um, growing up in worry um, contributed to the funny woman that I am today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every every waf every average warfarian <laughs> is funny. <laughs> yeah. Every yeah. average warfarian is yeah. outspoken, yeah. is confident. Oh, yeah. So, oh. yeah, I was born into a Christian home, and yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you did your primary, secondary, primary, secondary school worry, and uh, my university in Benin, Benin Adelsa yeah. University. What yeah. did you study there? Political science, public admin. Two honors. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. How was it there? Because I know it's a Christian university. Of course. I've been there a few times. You know, we are traveling. You just get, <laughs> you sign, get checked. You are only allowed to take three exits in a semester. <laughs> <laughs> so how was it for you? you chapel every Friday, By 12 o'clock. You By sign. Uh, and it was fun. Funny enough, I was dancing back then in BIU. Uh, I was going to chapel. I was going for... Home sale. <laughs> I can remember my home sale then, Shekina home sale. Uh, uh, yeah, it was fun. Uh, so, how, how did that contribute to molding the woman you, you have become? Because I believe, apart from being born into a Christian family, yeah. your experiences, especially at the, at the phase of tertiary education, when we are uh, we're, we're already um, a little bit matured, uh, how did that also contribute to molding you into what or who you are today? Did they have any significant role to play? Yes, especially spiritual. Because I remember... Um, <sighs> hey, I didn't hold myself. <laughs> you don't hold yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but funny enough, you know, I'm, like, I'm, 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 I'm not hearing the I'll disturbance. be in my room. I'll just lock myself up. But now I'm in an apartment where... <laughs> ah, God. <laughs> Can you ask the question again? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how did your experience, especially at BIU, okay. being a Christian university, and I know the foundation of BIU, I know what BIU is right now, how did that uh, contribute to molding the woman that you are today? It contributed greatly academically and, of course, spiritually. Like I said, mm -hmm. is, is, is a university where they check your spiritual life. They make yeah. sure that you're not just going to school. You have to align spiritually and yeah. physically. Right? You know, so I remember one time uh, um, I was having some... Okay, no need to talk about that one. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Before I call the sister, I can't comment for you. <laughs> but you a great deal. My confidence... Yeah. You know, and then I remember that was the time I used to dance professionally, and the school actually wow. supported. They supported me. They support talent. That's the mm -hmm. same school Lily and Afegbai went to. That's the same school blows up. There's one group mm -hmm. in the school called um, HOT House of Theater. Blows up. Mm -hmm. Joku was in that school. Wow. OT Big Brother. Wow. You know, Monachi Miss Nigeria at the time. So it really wow. helped me spiritually, trying to find myself. You know, they supported me. I went for Montana Dance Hall, wow. a dance wow. competition that time from BIU, and the school really supported me. So wow. I feel like um, BIU contributed greatly to the woman that I am today. Awesome, yeah. awesome, awesome. That, that's good. And I, I appreciate all of the effort they also make there yeah. in culturing and grooming talent. I think that's very, very important. 
Okay, so let's let's talk a little bit now. You said you know the spiritual aspect of your life had a footprint at BIU. Was that a place you gave your life to Christ, or did you give your life to Christ before then, or after then, or in between then? <laughs> Pastor, oh God, can I say the truth? I yeah. I've given my life to Christ four times. <laughs> so you give it, you collect it back, you give it, you collect it back. So the very first time, yeah. the very, very first yeah. time was yeah. in a Church of God Mission. Okay. You know, that, was, that, 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 that was the church I was born into. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Awesome. Yes. NRA branch, who do wrote for worry. <laughs> We're young that time. I that time they give communion eh? the communion for sure got me sure, eh? you feel sure, you feel hungry go short your bed <laughs> the bread eh? don't be like winner's bread now what did they do Smart bread, eh? the bread eh? oh gile bread <laughs> eh, <mu> bread <laughs> with a big cup of blood so we're going to go to church eh? so all of us for area we're going to line up so they get The pastor says, Now you be Jesus, you go, you go, you shop, you agree with the shop, your flesh. Like that. that was the first time. I was very young. Yeah. And the second time was Living Faith Church. Okay. Living Faith Church is at Akba Worry. Okay. You know that normal for you to join uh, dance, choreography in church, you need yeah. to do foundation, you need to baptize. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That was like, yeah, that's <laughs> I didn't really know what it was. I just wanted to join a unit in church. Mm -hmm. That was mm -hmm. the second time. Okay. The third time was um, family worship center. I went to perform there one day and they did one drama. Everybody did that. <laughs> they do FIA. Yeah, I cannot forget. Uh, Francis Duru was, was in that, um, that drama that day. I went to perform. After dancing and everything, I said, let me just stay back to enjoy the event. And then they did this air fire. Air fire was real. We see fire for 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 water. I see a girl that no one, no one going fire. I give the life back. I did again. I call collect our back. But I finally gave my life to Christ in 2012. Right. Living Faith Church, Saple. That was the year I graduated from university. Living Faith Church, Saple, uh, right. Saple Road. It was Pastor Moses Oyedele that was a pastor at the yeah. time. Yeah. I gave my life to Christ. 2012 until date. I didn't collect it back. I didn't collect it back. You just collect it back, right? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Wow, wow, wow. That's, that's beautiful. You see, you see, from this story now, this experience that now uh, someone else that maybe has entered, collected, given, collected, given, we now it gets to a point in one's life where one has to come to. A realization that this is a this is a real deal. I I can't get keep in and out. I I must settle with this God and settle with a relationship with Him because that's what defines eternity. All that we do here we end here, but where we stand with Him is what defines where we go afterwards. So I think that's crucial. All right, beautiful. Thank you for that for that wonderful <laughs> giving and collecting giving. And You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now you studied political science. At what point, I know you were into dance and all of that. So you've been like in the creative space for quite a long time. Yes, for a long time. As Beautiful. for children's class. Awesome, yeah. awesome, awesome. So as, how did you, at what point did you discover that portion of you that was into comedy? I just wanted to make people happy. I just wanted to make people laugh. At what point of your journey did you discover that? So like I said, an average Wafarian is a funny person. Yeah, average, so I've yeah. always been in that space. Ah, Anita, very funny when I saw people laugh in my hostel. People would just come yeah. to my room, just want to hear me talk, right? <laughs> but when I um, when I discovered, or rather, when I made up my mind to do stand-up comedy, I do it professionally, it was in 2018. You okay. know, 2017, 2018, the in thing was social media. Social mm -hmm. media. Facebook, Instagram, and there were a lot of short videos, funny videos, mm -hmm. and you know, I'm gonna watch one or two. I'm gonna say, sure, I can do this, you know, what did they do, you know? <laughs> and 2018 was when I started making some motivational, you know, content on 
on my page okay. mmm okay. monday morning motivation okay. area no worry now for buy more to buy with monday punk me not see the apple to pressure government they owe you do you know <laughs> don't kill yourself i started making those comments those those content and people love it they laugh yeah. i started having stand-up comedy gigs i'm like let's have a really <laughs> <laughs> Personally, and I started, and I worked yeah. on myself, reading books, watch YouTube videos. Uh, I started uh, working on myself to become, wow. you know, stand-up comedian. So I think I started doing stand-up comedy of professionally in 2018. Wow! So has yeah. it been since then? Awesome! I never knew it was gonna happen so quickly. Yeah. Like, it's oh, been man. awesome. Glad, glad, glad. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. So it, it went. All of this success you know, God has helped you to attain in these years. Thinking back, what will you say um, were the secrets? What are the principles you, you've lived by? What? Because you now said you studied. And, and, and it's strange to hear, anyway, somehow, someone in stand-up comedy having to learn to excel in it. it it's, quite a, it's quite interesting to me. So what, what would you say would have been the principles you've lived by that you believe have contributed to the rise that you've enjoyed all these years? A few of them. Okay, let me start from this point. Constant mm. learning. Mm. Constant, Constant learning. Constant yep. learning, you know, Constant. learning, on learning, relearning. You mm. know, when, when I started doing stand-up comedy, I just know that I have to do it right. Because to be a woman in a domi male-dominated space, mm -hmm. yeah. you have yeah. to work twice as hard, yeah. right? Yeah. So I study, I know how to know the kind of comedy that I do. For mm -hmm. music, you have R&B, you have rap, but for comedy, yeah. you have different type of comedy. Yeah. I do situational comedy, mm -hmm. you know, and most of the topics are, you know, family, real life situations. I had to know what my strength was and I started building my strength. Yeah. Yeah. It was constant yeah. learning. Mm -hmm. And of course, what I'm about to say is going to sound cliche, but that is it, God. You can yeah. check out the yeah. God factor like no matter how busy i am mm. no matter how you know how this job can yeah. get mm -hmm. right but that god factor you can't take it away mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. the inspiration is from god you yeah. can't cut off the source so yeah. i will constantly read books read my bible go for events yeah. you know i can't miss i've not, I never missed shilo since since <laughs> i just like i cannot see myself doing we worry picking without God. I go fail. Mm -hmm. yeah. In this life, mm -hmm. you need to choose your J. Which is your J? Is it Juju or Jesus? <laughs> My J is Jesus. And I recommend him. <laughs> yes, you need to hold your J. People, they do now. Many people get their J. The J go say that before you climb stage, do yeah. lick the thing till the time. <laughs> now, then you wake up the same God. You know, call you Zam. But, Jesus and my juju, I go, yo, like, Jesus, I want you to from. So when you reach there, you bring the blood of Jesus, you know. So the God factor, constant learning. And one of the things that have really helped me so far is support system. Hmm. Support system. My husband, my children, and my formidable team. I have a team behind me that, awesome. you know, there's, if you are a creative, having a team that understands your vision mm -hmm. is such a mm -hmm. deal. Mm -hmm. It's such mm -hmm. a big deal. Having a partner that loves you, that's your biggest fan, that's, uh, that's behind you regardless, is telling you keep going. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, I think those three things has really yeah, me. support system the God factor, mm. and constant learning yeah. my craft. Yeah. yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's fantastic. That's yeah. fantastic. Now, now you, you've, you've seen, with all of these factors that work in your life, you've seen your popularity rise. You've seen the influence that God has given increase over the years. And, and it's one thing to be in the spotlight. And many people don't know how to manage being in the spotlight. And especially... When they are believers, the tendency as they begin to uh, gain clouds and all of that, the tendency to even now push the one who, who pushed, moved them there behind the scene. They get carried away with all of the clubs, the accolades and everything, and they lose, they, they lose touch with even the God that brought them there. Now, how have you managed being famous and maintaining your Christian walk, number one? Have you managed being famous, being a career woman, a wife, a mother? How, 
how do you navigate through? Because it could be very, I can imagine. Shall, yeah, you did that. And you're trying to concentrate and do something. And then your husband is there who has needs. You have to attend to him. You have to attend to the kids. You still have to thrive in your career. You still have family, extended family. You have your team. You, you now go out, everybody's screaming. Can I take a selfie? Can I do this? Can I do that? How have you kept that? You have not just... <laughs> it's like you are thinking through the whole thing. How am I doing? Pastor there are some times I'll say I'll not do it again. <laughs> it's difficult. It's not easy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the time I was dealing with health issues. Mm. Ah, now mm. I'm better now. That's when I was mm. in love. <laughs> some clients don't care. I remember the <laughs> event I did last year. I had Fidelity Bank event that day. I had one morning event in the one workout, workout, bodyline workout event, and I had to speak in Transcorp Hilton that same day. Three days. Wow. Three events ah. in one day. Wow. After I finished the workout event in the morning, I couldn't walk. walk. The <laughs> ambulance. The ambulance. Carrying me going to Mr. Premier. As I did the hospital, the event for Transcorp Hilton to speak. Yeah. Skywide. Skywise Entertainment, one two one two. They're into Auto Mobile, and you know, yeah. they were calling me. I, I did video call. I'm in the hospital, and they're like, "You have to come." I'm like, I'm not well, <laughs> but you have to come. <laughs> I couldn't make that event. I refunded. Oh. I refunded that event, and I had a flight to cash to go to Lagos to do Fidelity Bank. I can't refund that one. Now. I go with my leg like that. <laughs> when I after. Everything I reach the hotel, I don't feel what I can say. Do I continue like this? What kind of life is this? It's difficult satisfying your clients, your mm. fans, mm. constantly living a life that mm. people have opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your children yeah. You want to be a good mother, you don't want them to in the future mm. tell you, Mommy, you were not there for us. Yeah, you have husband yeah. because you need to still marry your husband well. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then mm -hmm. you have a career that you, you and you're not just doing stand up comedy, you're doing influencing, you're doing mm -hmm. MC, you're doing acting, you're doing yeah. everything entertainment, yeah. and you still have to be in check to make sure that you are right, right with God is difficult. Yeah. I think nobody's wired to live my kind of mm -hmm. life. <laughs> <laughs> you see why I was the, the particular J when I oh. <laughs> Sometimes that I pray, I say, God, yeah. you called me to do this. Mm. Let mm. your, your mercy. Mm. I pray mercy a lot because mm -hmm. it's only God's mercy that can help yeah. me. Yeah. So, yeah. God factor. I feel mm -hmm. like this question, the first, the question before this one is still the same thing. Having constant support, you know, from your family, your kids, your husband, the God factor, and, you know, constant learning yourself and mm. just focusing on the things that are important mm. Mm. focusing thing, focusing on the things that are important and true and then you yeah. know that and when you understand the industry that you are in yeah. and you know that it's only god that can help you is is understanding it all because i only i already i also know where i'm coming from i know that it's god that has brought me thus far mm -hmm. so i cannot forget where i'm coming yeah. from yeah yeah, yeah. And Bishop David Oyedepo's daughter. Mm -hmm. I belong to the liberation mandate. I have, I have, yeah. I don't shop the word rich where I call blue. I can say, eh? I call blue. I can say, <laughs> if I don't get money, I don't get fame. Mm -hmm. I call live God. I don't fit not. I feel like people that do it, first, you know, go blame them. Maybe they are still trying to find themselves. Mm -hmm. They are still trying mm -hmm. to, find to understand. There's pressure in the industry. Yeah. Yeah. They are yeah. trying to find themselves, yeah. you know, yeah. not like it's intentional yeah. you know like me now the month of may throughout this may i did not travel out of abuja i live in abuja you know uh, right because my husband is in my my husband is in london i can't mm -hmm. travel out because he's not around mm -hmm. can't, i cannot leave mm -hmm. and then when it's shiloh i don't take jobs mm -hmm. when it's a uh, youth alive in april i don't take jobs so mm -hmm. i balance it well you know, at those times when money comes, they'll bring work 10 million, 20 million, 30 million. It's not the money. 
Because the money not even there in the first place before. Mm -hmm. The money not mm -hmm. there in the first place. God bring the money, because the same money where God called give me, I'll call it easy to live on. No, mm -hmm. so I, I really balance myself very that, well. Very yes, I balance, very, very balance myself very well. My kids resume very. school. They give us the calendar, the calendar, the schedule for the entire term. We say, okay, they have coding this week. They have this, they have this. So we just plan our life and make sure that nothing suffers. God, we are still with God, our children, our mind. Mm -hmm. So we focus on the most important things. Things that Parish. are true to us. Mm -hmm. Things that will have value to us. Mm -hmm. You can't just see us doing unnecessary things with our time. Mm -hmm. So when it's work, it's work. When it's God, it's God. Mm -hmm. When it's husband, it's husband. When it's children, it's children. Mm -hmm. We try to balance it well. No, so that people can be balanced some. Mm -hmm. like a, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, many times when they see persons like you, people always see the glamour, they always see the success, they don't know the work behind the scene, they don't know the challenges and the labor that is put in. Now, and I can imagine at certain points in your life, there may have been times you got discouraged. Many times, not time. Many times. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Many, 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 many times. Yeah. So, so, how did you navigate through it? Because you know there are people that just want small uh, issue of this. Just say, you know, I don't try. I'm not doing it. And they throw and say, look, enough is enough. I'm not doing it anymore. Now you you make one very striking uh, statement that you, it's like you you see what you're doing as a calling. God gave you an assignment. So, and I love that. I love, you know, that, 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 that talks about someone understands vision. This is, I'm not just doing this for want of what to do. I, I, I am doing this because I'm called to do it. And that's fantastic. Now, you said in the course of doing what God has called you to do, times and times of discouragement must have come. How did you navigate through it? Because somebody has been listening right now, person don't tire. Say, in fact, I know they do it again. How did I navigate? Get through it, or oh, how am I navigating? Okay, how are you navigating? <laughs> it's constant. Okay, how are you navigating? I mean, you are still inside it now. How are you navigating? <laughs> okay. okay, how are you navigating? <laughs> hey. If Papa have done how many years in the ministry? Who am I? <laughs> Your ministry is just starting. <laughs> then they stone Jesus. They stone Jesus. Who am I? I never. <laughs> That's that. It's like, now I give up. Uh, uh, those are, are the people that, ah, uh, no. When I, sometimes I, 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 I pause, but I don't give up. When it hits me really hard, you know, family, mm -hmm. friends, fans, clients, mm -hmm. the job, when it hits me so hard sometimes, I just pause. Okay. I just pause, I take, I try to do th things that I like that can recharge me. I no. love to dance. I love to sing. Okay. I love to go. Like, there's no gospel event. Like, there's one happening in Abuja June 2nd, Great Man Takit. Mm. There's no gospel event that they would do in Abuja or Lagos. If I'm around, I must go. <laughs> those are the things that, those are the things that feeds my spirit man. Mm. So sometimes when I hear myself, okay, Best I don't stress myself too much. I know the day exhausted. I need to refill. Mm -hmm. I need to refill. I need to refill. Yeah. You're still in the place of worship, in the place of reading the Bible, in the place of my happy place is is the presence of God. That's my happy place, and that's where I recharge. Beautiful. And then Beautiful. Um, um, family, spending time with people that I like. That you know, iron sharpness, iron mm -hmm. people like yeah. minds. You know the kind of people that we say one or two things to you, and then it will edify your soul. Yeah, that was I charge, and it's constant. It can happen Good. to me. I can have, I can have a, a emotional breakdown, be mental. A, what do they call that? Break a meltdown. I can have it four <laughs> times a month. So, <laughs> I, I can have it three times a month. I can have it two times a week. It depends on the work. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. I'll just enter YouTube. Victor Thompson. Mm. Because I just go a page mm. for YouTube. I have to listen mm. to all those worship. Mm. 
then I'll start speaking in tongues or praying, and then he recharges me, okay. or I can have conversation with my kids. It's just mm -hmm. being around people that you love, that really edifies your soul, yeah. and then in the place of worship. That's it. That's the only place. No, that's that's good. That's good. That's a big lesson to learn there too. And I believe somebody, somebody, some must have picked something there. One of your support system, and I, I want to deviate a little bit now. One of your support system. <laughs> you know, I just yes. Yeah, <laughs> is it going? <laughs> Pastor Oga, I'm hearing. Well, that's a strong, your number one fan. Oh. Oh. Uh, no, no, <laughs> you know you're smart now. It shows you, uh, okay, I'm blocking <laughs> <laughs> So tell us a little bit about how you met your husband. <laughs> 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 okay, so how did you meet him and how did the thing all cascade into... How many years together now and all of that? Tell us a little bit about it. You know that when I gave my life to Christ in 2012, first yeah. most readily, yeah. I stopped doing a lot of things. Mm. I stopped doing fornication was one of the things I stopped mm. at the time. And I prayed one prayer in Living Faith Church. And I said, mm. God, I don't stop all those things so alpha mm. mean they give mm. me all the fun. So <laughs> I did a prayer in Utah life. I didn't even go. Uh, I went to it was not Sapple, it was one other place. It was one other winners. Hey, I can't remember the I can't remember the area. But that was when we went to camp. I camped in church. Wow. Yes, I, I camped. And I wrote things down. I said I'm going to meet my husband July first, twenty twelve. That July, that July 1st was a Sunday. Wow. I wrote it down. I said, I will have my, I will give birth after nine months and it will be a boy. Christmas Day, <laughs> I wrote it down. I said, my husband will engage me on my birthday, October 29th. I wrote it down. <laughs> Everything I wrote down came to pass. Wow. I met my husband July 1st, 2012. I graduated wow. from school. One pastor for winners, could they tell me, say, you have to stay <laughs> back in winners. Stay back in Benin. I said, sir, my husband is in Abuja. <laughs> Pastor James, Mr. Anita, this is where you should stay. I said, my husband is not in Living Faith Church, so I <laughs> You know, say, again, when you go deal with God, eh, mm -hmm. but he go tell you. Your mm -hmm. instincts, you go, no. I said, my husband not there yet. When I was doing clearance in school, I did clearance in lab, did clearance in um, uh, library. They asked me, are you going to stay back in Benin? I said, no, I'm going to Abuja, I'm getting married. <laughs> I was telling everybody in my school that I was getting married. I said, I met my husband, I'm getting married soon. By faith, to faith. <laughs> I can't graduate to reach uh, Abuja. My family has already moved from where they were living. They were living in a do industrial area. There's no winners there. The only winners that we know is Durumi. So that morning, yeah. I was going to Durumi. And the taxi guy I said, no, there's one close to this thing here, Life Camp. I said, let's come get winners. <laughs> then it was Pastor Gideon. Okay. Pastor's brother. Yeah. yeah. Pastor's brother. And yeah. I said, okay, really? So and I went there. When I went there, I came out for New Timer. And I come out for New Timer. That day was 1st of July. Ikesuku <laughs> was in. Now, so Ikesuku na Otter Guard. You wear coats. <laughs> from my front. So I came out for first timer. You know, he was looking at me. Now he first see me. He was like, look at this fine girl. Oh my God. <laughs> And I did not see him. Do you know what Ikechuku said to me? He said he heard a voice to say, that's your wife. Wow. So he was not uh. saying, that's your wife. Okay, oh, Holy Spirit, if she's my wife, let us have a close connection. Wow. So he lost his ID card that day. Because it was, it was in Ulta, <laughs> he lost his ID card. So it was, I, I stayed back in church. So he, he saw it and left. So there was no close connection. So he said to himself, oh, oh, Holy Spirit, that means she's not my wife because there was no... We couldn't say hi to each other and everything. Yeah. Before I went to Life Camp Church a day before, when I was in Benin, our own cell is every Saturday. Yeah. It was every Saturday. But that, that, that area for Abuja, now every mm. Sunday now they do their own cell. So that Saturday I came out to look for home cell. The only place close to that, my, our new house, is Kingscott Estate. Mm. 
So I went to King's Court yesterday and they said, no, home sale is not Saturday here, it's Sunday, come tomorrow. And the woman gave me a contact. I started calling her after church. She did not pick. I just ordered a taxi, went into the, life, the, the King's Court by myself. I was just telling the guy, take left, take right, take left, take right. I just drive, <laughs> leave it fake, uh, banner. banner. I said, stop here. That's how the guy just stopped. And I entered the house. The woman was like, okay. I said, I came for home sale. I'm a new member. <laughs> I collected one woman's number yesterday, but number is not going through. He said, sit down. We'll start soon. She was doing an assignment for her sons. Right? <laughs> Guess who is the home sale leader? Yes, okay, Chiku. <laughs> <laughs> As my husband enter. <laughs> it was like, I saw you in church today. He said, yes. <laughs> Wow. Yes. So after I wow. everything, you're like, welcome, wow. you my number. You called me, are you, are you home now? I said, yes, I'm home. So I called, I called the third God that night, say, God, I have fun. So then I July like this. Now that guy be the guy. That guy don't get money. What's the apple? Wait, his shoe. Because he can't shoe. I want to see shoe. I want to see what's shoe. And I say, God, is that a man? Oh, my God. Holy Spirit said, that is the man. I said, okay. So no, it is the man. That thing when I stop. That thing when I say I'm not gonna do it again. And that one will go tell nobody that I am. So it's yes, gonna go they call me every day, all the things so far that they do. Because they do love, they do love. Now one day I tell her, I want to tell her something. You know? And he said, Sit, say it to want to tell me something. I said, okay, make it tell me first. Now it's this relationship that we want to do. Uh, he doesn't know how we take it, but his abstinence will not sex till marriage. That's the same thing I wanted to tell him. That's the same thing I wanted to know if Position. he's really the mm -hmm. one. And he just said it to me, like, he's the one! <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, okay, it's fine. I said, because me too, I'm born again, and I've told God to be I was like, are you sure? I said, yes, I'm sure. And that's how we started dating. And 12 uh -huh. years after, we are still married today. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> you, you see how, how the finger of God was so evident in all of the that, connection. The having God, I've made. experienced God, like everything. That's, that's God. That's God. That's God. Yeah. <laughs> so, how many kids do you have now? Three. Two biological kids and one adopted. Okay. Beautiful. 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 So, how's mommy? How's mommy life? Pastor, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it is swear. You see the way they talk now that they were rough. It is swear. <laughs> but so far, it's been like I said when you have a supportive partner, the two of you yeah. parent together. Mm -hmm. You know, there are some women or men, they are married. They single. have some married single mothers. Yeah. They are married, but they are like single mothers, yeah. doing everything themselves. Yeah. You know, we get away with a share them. We get the women, my husband, they compliment them. So, you know, they really, sometimes it's not, so, 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 sometimes it gets overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Charlie, when mm -hmm. you have a teenage daughter, I have a teen, the, the adopted one, I be the teenage daughter. <laughs> Stella. <laughs> Every day I ask for the grace of God. Because... <laughs> I go talk, talk, my mouth go pay me. <laughs> you know, they chidera and then a bube. You know, this generation, you get the way they take day. You have to have safe space for them to trust you, be yeah. comfortable so they can tell you stuff. Mm -hmm. you know, the way they take raise us, what we small, tough love, tough love. They go even mm -hmm. touch us for us. I will not pick up talk for us. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you always have to have conversations. You know, sometimes they want to blackmail you. I used to have mom guilt when I started my career, when I would be mm -hmm. traveling. Then I never feel still balance out. Mm -hmm. Like, I will come back from travel, I will do two days. She there, I will tell me, Mommy, you don't love me. You travel. <laughs> Mom guilt. You know, it's really not easy raising this kid. When he married, he go, No, I don't. <laughs> There are some things my mom used to do to me then. I would say she was wicked. Yeah, One no, day I no, my mom, no, Mommy, thank not, you. Thank you. <laughs> no, he's the old. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Nothing. Ah. <laughs>
Did I offend you? No. Ha! No. Ah. Is anybody bullying you? Is anybody no. touching you? Is what no. is going on? <laughs> Did I offend you? Did I do anything that offend you? <laughs> you're, you're trying to think back to how, how, you, how you're growing up this. Why would mommy come and ask me? Did I offend you? Offend you for what? No, that one. <laughs> They're not asking you that offend you. I see scripture, they slap you. You did scripture. Come on, go somewhere back. Go watch play. You are depressed. Which depressed? Go on, generator. You're not be breaking your heart for. Where you be, Millie? Let me break your heart. Did they break your heart? You did not act break your own generator. One day, my, oh, my son came back from school and he said to me, Mommy, I had a bad day today. Today was stressful. They carry you go. Me, load your bag. AC, Range Rover, carry you go. Where did they blow you? You had a bad. You had a bad day. Wow. You never see stressful. You know we expect to go our ladies here. For more level, it's worry supply road. So, so, I'm gonna wait. Where are we going to do that time? Airport junction with a trek, go trek, come back. Our uniform go, our uniform go black. Don't see what, mommy, mommy, I'm stressed. Mom, I'm stressed. Can I talk to you? Mom, mom, mom. my husband, they always the day ads add on them to go and sleep by nine o'clock. Now, when he did London, he go to Sheko. You can see how I wake, you go to Sheko camera. I saw come meet me, mommy. I think daddy has anger issues. <laughs> I think daddy has anger issues. I think so. <laughs> daddy don't love me. Because they say when you go sleep by night. <laughs> That's a whole, it's a whole new generation. And if you don't know how to. Daddy, not be to beat. You beat them the way they beat us. That different. Not be that one. Don't they beat yeah, them all? Yeah, yeah, you got to try that. You can't communicate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh but my but you, you see, the way our parents also trained us, it, it helped us a lot. Of. It tough it's love. tough love. It helped us, but not tough love. And I think love still inside me. Too much. We don't balance them. They beat self-esteem come off our body. They beat self-esteem. Because they piss for bed, they might be like, go assembly, go to the side, they piss for bed. I don't think that's cool. Like, that's shit's cool. I forgot what she's. Oh, she's like, I for better than state. They got to come with CPC. Are you going to get a piece of bed? This guy just love me, that one. You don't help me stop. Which help me stop? If you say I peace rich teenage age. I'm going to say, Car now when neighbors there say, I should say, carry your piece and go and son it. I can't even see you. They won't find where they like you for outside. Don't say you're peace of bed. Let me smart in my eyes <laughs> Someone shout when I shout for Stella for it's our sport. Stella squeeze face. Say you're better. Someone shout for Stella. Stella squeeze face. Someone shout. I got a plain plan, but you know that what you did was wrong. Oh lord. Let me say I don't want born again. I don't want born picky again. I'm not here to do this thing. No easy. I'm done. We are done, sir. No, they're still, you're still, still young now. I'm very young, mm. young but mm. I this year they grow from me. They, they didn't know me. This new one, no, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think I'm big. Oh, okay. 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 Let me touch on one thing before. Um, <clears throat> You know, there's a major transformation process you went through, and sincerely seeing the the out the new outlook, I'm like, wow, I see this looks good and all of that, and it was really commendable. I must I must say that publicly, it was commendable. Uh, and how how did you navigate through that whole process? Just in the brief. How did I navigate? How am I navigating? Okay, I, <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. How are you it was one year a couple of days ago. It was one wow. year a couple of days ago. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So I used wow. to have many 
people don't know see I be slim gay. Mm -hmm. I'm all doing a size 10, 12, 10, 12, you know. As I marry, now I call blue like that. <laughs> I start to call me now I'm fat, I can't leave myself. Uh. You know. It did not mm -hmm. so when I was plus size, had Chidera, had a booby and everything, I didn't have those health issues. Mm. Because why? I, my life was not stressful. I was a civil servant. I used to work with National Youth Service Corps. So I'll go to work nine o'clock, close by two because I was a nursing mother. I'll go to the market, do dinner. I didn't even have driver. I did not have maid. I was living alone with my children. So I, the, I carried the body where no stress me, mm. you know? And I was big. I was weighing 110, 120, 130 uh. like that until I called blow 2018, 2019, when my lifestyle called it stressful. Mm. I called gas leave civil service. I started mm. doing traveling, everything. You know, you mm. wear heels, go for events, everything. Mm. I called it get knee pain. I called it quit the tire. I could get sleep apnea. I don't go feel the sleep. I go they, if I breathe, eh? <laughs> if I didn't near you, eh? If I didn't near you, eh? You need to share oxygen like shisha. Because if it, with a share oxygen like shisha, because I'll take all the oxygen. I could say, I know the snow before I call the snow. Before, call the snow. He, he can go say, I say, I don't snow. He say, but you're snoring now. He can't record me one day. Oh, God, I'll be like told. I don't know if 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 I don't if I don't know 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 if I but they pour water from my body now. Everybody, they shout, wait till the apple, wait till the apple, wait till the apple. I don't coffee breathe. Because they give us space, give us space. So after that event, I call Richard Bush, I call go be my doctor. I said something strange happened to my collapse. So mm. I call do tests every time they say, make her they wash with her, they eat here, I don't too fat. So I know they feel breathe, I know they feel. So I became so worried. That was 2019. I became so worried. I said, ha. Ah, this body when I like, I like the way I'm big, everything, I'll call loose with golf. <laughs> they can't give me diet plan, oh. but I had diet plan there. Eh. So they have to eat short bread and rice, the next day, they will take shit. You know, you know, get the fasting, I'll do intermediate fasting, I'll do everything, I'll work. 2020, I'll do. 2020, I'll call hard, because we know they would come out. We did start as lockdown. Yeah, I fish up, yeah. I fish up six bread. I did drink food. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot get with a good that 2020 I call fat. My I could be like leg. Oh my neck, eh? Meshelita. Oh was. I yeah. my, my knee, eh? I call the pain. I don't feel what I here to hear. I go to cry the pain, lower back pain, tiredness, serious headache. The 2020 call come. Doctor, but they remind me every day. I they go hospital back to back now. Nah. I be Mr. Mm. Premier. They know me every three three weeks. One once in a week, twice. I they did a study. <laughs> Until after my show, after my show in 2000 and, 2002, after my show, I got collapse after my own show the next day. <laughs> and my doctor said, but the way they did like this now, so I not feel lose weight naturally. <laughs> but I go do weight loss surgery. I said, God forbid, I go do weight loss surgery. It's risky. Now my doctor tell me, say, this is what we do, not risky. <laughs> All those collapse, you collapse, you you'll die. Like, you go do weight loss because you don't feel lose weight naturally. It took me, my show was 2020, right? It took 20, me a year. 2020. 2020 or 2020. 2022, now I do my show. Abuja. So, it took me months. And I did it in July. July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, which is 2024. 2023 mm. when i do my dream wedding so 10 months later it took me 10 months to make up my mind wow. 10 months to make up after i don't refund many money then i went for ik sakodua's show mm. um one comedy live comedy show comedy night mm. 
So it was my time to perform. You know, you perform, they record it, and they were eight, mm -hmm. you air your episode. So it was me and uh, this guy in flatmate. Oh, uh, to be name, oh. I don't forget his name. That flatmate guy, we get accent. Anyways, it was two of us for the last episode. It not finished, you know, it was not my turn. So, so they remind me and everything. Passion, his name is Passion, MC Passion. They don't mind me already. It was my turn to come and perform. So Heike was like, put your hands together to bring worry picking. They let the shout. I don't feel stand up. I don't feel that a joke. They let it laugh. Stand up now, mama, stand up. I said, I don't feel like that. Wow. It's true. I don't tell me. My mom don't the foam. Wow. So they were like, she's, she's serious. She's serious. She's serious. You know? And then they just come, rushed me. I don't know. I don't know how I left there. I saw myself in the hospital. One hospital for Falao Sibo, one hospital like that. Wow. That was when I realized that it's about time I do this it thing. Mm. You know, it was really bad. Mm. I came to see me in the hospital and she was like, you work too hard. You need mm. to really cut down on your eating. They don't say I get eating disorder. I'm a shop stash. I'm a swallow ever. You know, the good <laughs> things of life is fattening. I'm a shop shawarma. I'm a shop Oh God! And that shower, my mother, two old dogs, big old dog. So, so I was, I just told myself, I said I have to go. So, me and my husband made a decision. I was like, we can't do it in Nigeria. My doctor was like, okay, we go good, you know, okay. Hospitals in Turkey and everything. We went to Turkey and I had to do it. Now I did it uh, April. This May made it one year and it's been awesome. Like I haven't been to the hospital in a year plus. Beautiful, Everything. Beautiful. Funny how you just lose weight and all your sickness go go. Let's go. So <laughs> yes. So all those medication, all those um, <laughs> blood thing. You get one Indian man where they introduce me to wash up all my money. You say my leg shook many things on my leg. Oh God, that man! If I cash him, <laughs> you know. So, Thing I'm trying to just is the healing process, yeah. constant throwing up, heart burn. Your shop mm -hmm. on small rice, your heart go to burn like this. Ah, mm -hmm. constant heart burn and throwing up. Now I still the battle with now, but I've been okay. Like yeah. I'm no longer sick. I sleep well. I don't snore anymore. I don't have sleep apnea. I don't have constant headaches. Like I'm just okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good. And you do some physical exercises too, right? Ah, uh, constant. Back to back. And I have excess skin, so I have to tune up. Good. I have excess skin, good. so I have to yeah. tune up. So yeah. I go to the gym m minimum three times a good. week, four times a week. Good, beautiful, beautiful. It's impressive. Well done, well done, well done. Well done. Yeah. So, so I'm, I must, I must say this at this point as we try to wrap up. <clears throat> that you have done so well and so encouragingly well. Many people, I hear people, I talk to a lot of young people, and they look up to you, they're excited at the things you do. I'm being very real right now. They love you sincerely. I hear this, I love you, I love you. So, okay, good, 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 good. And sincerely, I, I, I commend everything and the grace of God at work in your life. And keep it up, keep it up. Standing for, for, for God, standing for the kingdom, and doing your and being real, being real. That that is that's one thing I like about you. Just, <laughs> just yourself. But you know, that's like. the only superpower you have. Being yourself yeah, is your only yeah, superpower because yeah. God not make you two. The only one. Mm -hmm. You're special. That's your superpower. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love to be me. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. it's so fun to be me. I can't be anyone else. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and well done for your upcoming show in July. July twenty eighth. Twenty eighth. <laughs> It's going to be awesome. Amen. It's going to be awesome. Amen. It's, going to be, it's going to be fantastic. So, so everybody uh, listening or uh, watching, I uh, watch July 28th. You don't miss it if you're around uh, the neighborhood and connect. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. We, we wish you all of the best. All right. So, as we close, um, <clears throat> many young people are connected. Many young people are looking up to you. What would be like a word of encouragement from your heart? To these young people that are desiring to make something out of their lives, um, you know, this our generation. So many things are confronting for our attention. Too many Christians, even young people that are Christians, are very shallow. There's no substance. There's no. Um, they're just there. So, in your own uh, word from your heart, uh, table of your what would be that uh, word of encouragement, that word of advice to young people? that are looking forward and trusting God for a productive, impactful future? 
Okay, uh, I'll say, no worry. Mm -hmm. Many of us we we won't live in our future now. Mm -hmm. Live on our pa pa pa. Make realistic goals. We give ourselves our realistic goals. We're too hard on ourselves. They don't mm -hmm. want to fail. Failure is part of the process. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Just take one day at a time. The only time when I rushed for my life, I was depressed. I attempted suicide. The only time when I rushed, I rushed life. Mm -hmm. I rushed. Mm -hmm. We're just doing mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not going to calculate. Mm -hmm. We're not going to ask God for consent. We're just going to carry the do any and they rush because mm -hmm. they won't blow. Remember, yeah. all sit down one day, so, but we just did get two bedrooms for Luke Bay. We they drive one small Camry, big lights. And they work for NYSC. They work for bank. Oh, but we are bigger than that now. We need to blow. We need to make money. Our age are making money. Our age, they grief too. Nobody mm -hmm. our age to make money. Sure. So, sure. so fast. We rush. Mm -hmm. We rush. Put our hand for different, different things. Now we owe debt. 22 million. It, June 6, 2018, I attempt suicide because I want to die. I said, I'll not do it again. Debt. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. I die, that yeah 2024 now that 22 million and a shiki change mm. by the grace of god mm. because they, mm. they rush that time 22 million and one kill me for money where we say god they prepare me to come 2024 i will make them so mm. just take no first buy motor buy old model <laughs> new arrival go turn to says tomorrow mm. life has jet mm. uh, 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 day whenever break nine many pass what do you rush for Mm. You do use another person clock to check your time. Mm. When mm. you go to your time, don't reach. Either you wear JC or you tie rap you go play for the marsh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know want take one day at a time. Don't rush. Mm. You can be now that you want to be a newscaster where you day because of where you they go you don't want to live here you don't want to enjoy where you did and when mm. you did they prepare you for where you they go yeah. Yeah. no god for yourself have mm. faith mm. if you don't have church i, I recommend living faith church winners mm. have been in winners for 22 years wow. yes i don't know they win us still mm. don't worry living faith is mm. 2002 now start winners till today mm. one thing that church will teach you is faith you are redeemed to flourish in hard times because mm. it's happening does not mean it must happen to you yeah, shine yeah. your eyes focus mm. like death stand like mm. six o'clock mm. mm. take one day at a time yeah. because you are serving god does not mean you will not see tribulations mm -hmm. it's to make mm -hmm. you mature that's what the bible says to make you mature sometimes stay put hang in there pray tirelessly mm. focus on god take one day at a time if you fail, stand up Amen. and sometimes clap for yourself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes mm -hmm. you see people they'll talk to me, I don't like me, I hate myself. What are you hating yourself mm -hmm. for? Mm -hmm. Why everybody get problem? If you gather if everybody sit down for one table now, put each other problem more exchange. Nobody will exchange any problem. Everybody will carry a problem, go us. <laughs> yes, no. Better not be show glass. Oh. You so guarded today, nobody will see your belly. Better, better not be show glass. Hmm. Sure. You can't. Sure. Pe people will say, I pray every day. I don't see results. Ah, you praying. There are mm. principles to, to these things. Mm -hmm. Inside the prayer, God is giving you instruction, listing. So yeah. we just pray and leave it. You and leave it for God. You will walk with Him. Mm -hmm. You have to participate in that prayer you are praying. <laughs> when sure. you want to, when you want a child, you must open your leg in the night. Mm. You are not married. <laughs> You want God to mm. bless you with a child, you must open your leg for night. Mm. So as you are praying to God, you need to work with him. You need there's a process. Yeah. Inside that prayer, I, I, I watched a testimony a couple of weeks ago in Facebook. One man was saying that he prayed to God, he get tested that his wife was denied visa for how many years to come and join him in the US. And then later he gave a testimony. I can't remember the exact words, but what I picked from that testimony was. When he was praying to God, he received an instruction that he should go and print some extra documents or something like that 
when you are praying, there are instructions. Yeah. You just pray, Father Lord, Father Lord, Father Lord. Father, thank you. No, you have to, you have to be in sync. Mm. There's how to even pray. Yeah. There's how to pray. Mm -hmm. you, yeah. So just everything will be fine. Mm? Mm. Wherever you are watching me, you are down, you're feeling some kind of way, you're feeling like you are inadequate, mm. you are sad. Don't be sad. Mm. Don't be sad. Mm. Oh, your J. Either you owe your juju or you owe your Jesus. But I recommend the Jesus jail. <laughs> All are strong, be mm. true to yourself, you know, mm. pray regularly. What do you feed your mind with? What do you listen to? Nobody every time, blue film, blue film, blue film. Watch, what do you listen to? What do you, you see? Mm. What do you hear? You have to feed your spirit, man. You right. go to work, yeah. out, you do skincare. Your inner mind needs skincare. Your inner mind need need gym. Mm. That's reading the word of God, reading yeah. the book, listening to things that will edify your edify. soul and yeah. you'll just fine you'll be yeah. just fine man amen <laughs> <laughs> wow wow thank you so much i i just feel like we've just continued let me just be listening to you <laughs> 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 well, thank, you. So, thank you thank you thank you sincerely uh, i know my wife is also listening she's uh, she's <laughs> giving me a shout out <laughs> i greet you <laughs> We are waiting to host you one of these days. Yeah. So we'll talk about that. We'll, okay. we'll talk about that. But thank you so much. I must say it's been a very refreshing time. I love your realness. I love your you're just being natural. Yeah, she just she just put some love, love sign. I just saw my wife just put love, 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 love. So she said I love you right back. <laughs> she said I love to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love to your husband to tell him we appreciate yeah. you both. Uh, we, we're waiting to receive you guys and spend some time with us. That'll be fantastic, fantastic. It's gonna be. An I love to the children. I love to your wonderful three. They're <laughs> they're giving, say hello. She they're, 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 give, they're giving you. <laughs> giving you. That'll be smarty. We say more come apartment because she it's likes good. for sometimes. It's There's more time. Better. So. <laughs> Say hello. 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 How are you? See demo, not demo. <laughs> this was say I should not watch it. Hello. Public. <laughs> How are you? Good to see you all. Good to, hello. Good to see you all. Love you guys. All right. All right. Go, go, <laughs> Pastor, please, can I ask for something? Yeah. Pastor Moses Oyedele's birthday is June second. I haven't been able to, so I haven't been able to reach reach out to him. Somebody gave me his contact one time. I call and I broke it. Call. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether okay, uh, any uh, phone, okay. any phone, any number uh, went wrong. Now only I broke it. The other speaker. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't think he's. I, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. But I, I, that is my pastor. I get it. I get it. I get it. His birthday is June second. No problem. I get it. For you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So thank you so much. I sincerely appreciate you. I sincerely do appreciate you. <clears throat> and uh, and uh, on behalf of the youths, also um, the church, um, thank you for all you do. And um, I know many of them will look forward to learning from you and um, you share with them. So we we'll, we'll have what platforms for all of that? And we need to be doing a lot of youth events in Winners. Yes. So we we'll work together. Yeah. Yeah. We we'll work together. On that, work together on that. Thank you so much. The Lord bless you. Thank 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 you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless the works of your hand and keep prospering you and advancing in all that you do. And for everyone connected with us tonight, the Lord bless you all. The Lord keep you all. Only good things will be happening in our lives all through this year and beyond in Jesus' name. I love you all. My sis, love you. Uh, love, love you. <laughs> Bye. Uh, have fun. Bye. Bye. Bye.